Okay, so so now this is going to be another quick one, but we're focusing on the letter J, um, and it's a little different because it moves. Right, most of the other letters that are static, not so interesting. J and Z are much more interesting. So again, the book has a the video that I posted here has an explanation of J, how to produce it. We've gone over it. It goes to the inside. So if you're left-handed, it comes this way. If you're right-handed, it comes this way. It doesn't go out. It goes in. Okay. And it's with the pinky, not the index finger, just to clarify. Some to practice with. I almost spelled Janus. J-A-N-E. Cub. So there's a whole bunch of ones. It really, it's simple. We've gone over it. Again, this is just a refresher if anybody's having any uh, issues with it. Uh, this will keep on going. We've got a bunch of different practices. Jay, 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 Jeff, Jenny. Um, do, do, do. I split them all up just because it would be easier. I didn't make them GIFs because that would slow down everything. Um, so as I've said from the uh, beginning, a good thing is to just practice. I put up a, a bunch of just basic quizzes for you to just sort of quiz yourself and to practice with. Um, uh, there are more on the way, but I needed to get through the book first. Um, uh, so, um, so anyway, so if you think about it, it's like um, you want to get past the idea of individual letters and start getting to syllables really quickly or short words. Um, uh, prefixes, suffixes, root words, as much as you feel comfortable with those, those are really good practices. Um, because a lot of the times the things you're going to have to fingerspell are long words that don't have a sign, medical terminology, specific uh, terminology for whatever your major is. Um, so prefixes and suffixes will be really important because then you just take those pieces. So like, for example, you know, P-R-E, pre, pre, pre. Yes, I know, cat. pre. Um, anti, A-N-T-I is kind of, don't you, no, hop down. Don't knock over my tripod, thank you. Um, A-N-T-I, easy, just break it up into two, A-N and T-I, right? So A-N-T-I, A-N-T-I, no, get down. A-N-T-I, A-N-T-I. I'm trying a new tripod and it's precarious. Um, E-S-T. E-S-T, E-S-T. And if you just practice it, est, est. Instead of going E-S-T, E-S-T the whole time, get try to get past it where you can go est, 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 best, past, past, um, jest, okay? So... Pick a suffix and then put in uh, an initial letter or a pair of letters and start building confidence in that so you don't have to think about letters as you're going. Ian. Uh, can't think of the word. Ian. Uh, Christian. Uh, Fustian. <laughs> uh, so you can piece together a whole bump. I-N-G. I-N-G. And you'll notice that they most of these have a shape to them, I and G. There's that little twist. So if once you finger, see someone finger spelling out in the wild, that ing, you'll see this and go, oh, that's ing, I N G, right? It's that twisting of the wrist, even more so than the hand shapes. Um, and then as you start to piece those together, you can get to the point where you spell even words like anti-disestablishmentarianism. Novelty word, yes, I realize. But you can fingerspell that, and it's not too impossible. Stay down. It's not too impossible to do. Because if you look, it is a whole bunch of very easy combinations that you put together. So, terrianism. You can do it. You can get to the point. And notice how I was not doing A N T I D I S. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Right? So you can get there. It literally is just uh, uh, 
a cold process. You gotta, you gotta just hammer away at it. And that's all that the chapter is, is the, using the J and then I added my little recommendation for strategies. Um, so there's not that much in the way of video for this one. As I said, um, four and five are all pretty short bits because it's a lot of summing up what we've already done. The big bulk ones were one, two, and three. That's why it took so long to get through. 